somebody else. Red line. Nice. They're actually loading with the dump truck as well. And anhydrous applicators are out. There's a big 21 bar pulled by a John Deere. There's another one. That's local uh, local ASP by my area. Eva Hertz. Llama, 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 llamas or alpacas, whatever they are. They're doing in their brothers out doing fertilizer today. Basically doing as much as they can in the fields. Well, here's the farm. Well, here she is. That's how much lime we got left. Oh, let's go ahead and start getting stuff fired up. Oh, that was good. Got my dad's tractor started. Now I'm going to actually go ahead and grease all these rollers. We'll grease all these things and then start loading. Oh man, alright, let's load this sucker up. Actually, let's put you guys on a time lapse on the Budman's truck. Okay, we are loaded up with probably a little over a dump truck load, probably, I don't know, 16, 17 ton, maybe 18. So that should be good enough. There's something clanging down here, so the chain came off. Time to load up again. First load is done. I'm loaded up again and heading back up the hill. This uh, thing's a beast behind me. I'm having to slow down to climb the hill. We were loading our light to get, just because we're on the highway. It's spreading. Yeah, if you look, it definitely looks like it's throwing more downhill. I think all that is is a farther, it, it's definitely going to be biased downhill, but I don't know if there's not a whole lot I can do about it with this spreader. Because the farther up it goes on the disc, lime will only stay on the, the disc, spinning disc as long as possible like only so long so the more it's gonna bias the downhill side is what it's gonna do but I mean we're putting out so much product I don't think it matters getting her filled up this conveyor used to be gas powered they converted over to only hydraulics just straight from a tractor here not too long ago And it works. It works actually pretty dang well. No grandma's lunch today. Because I'm out in the field. So actually the bud man brought me some scrubway. Got the cookies. What's your guys' favorite Subway cookie? Where do you guys even eat at Subway? Mine's usually the white chip macadamia nut. My dad got me the chocolate chip macadamia nut. There we go. Should be two more loads up here, I think. Rolling. Knocking the acres out. Going right around 10 mile an hour or so and I don't have any washouts to contend with. Ugh. Or a jerky driver. Hey look, that bale's not supposed to be there. <sighs> so up on the flats, you can definitely tell it's a really nice pattern, like a fantastic pattern. I'm gonna kind of curious as we're gonna go, we're gonna go down the hill. Once I, once I run out of product, we're gonna go down the hill and just kind of look at distribution, see if we can see anything. It looks like as good a spot as any. So, let's kind of look at distribution as best we can. Let's see if I can find where I drove, which I drove right here. So as we walk across, I'm just visually noticing we are a little bit heavy on the downhill side. Not bad, but it is noticeable because I can tell like right here is a nice heavy patch a little lighter here and a little heavier 
right back behind the behind the uh, the spreader and then lighter up top so what I mean by that is when you tilt when you're tilted you're gonna dump your stuff on your spreader more to the inside and upward so that's gonna make it want to throw it out farther and that's why you're seeing this stream that hits this a lot more because it's basically the more the farther inside it goes the longer it takes to actually get flung around so it actually gets flung and hits this farther and then same from this side if you tilt it uphill it's going to be towards the outside of the disc so it's going to want to be basically light heavy light heavy so i don't know if there's really anything you can get away with that's just kind of the nature of the beast with a drop a drop spinner spreader in fertilizer they have a, a different mechanism which you'll see so it'll help prevent that but yeah i'd be kind of curious guys what are your thoughts either way though i'm happy with this thing it's been a beast we're all done getting lime up here from Bellevue. So what we're gonna do now is my dad brought a couple shovels down. I actually need to get a half a load. So we'll get a half a load, bring that up on top, finish that up, and then uh, come back down. We'll scrape up everything, clean up. We did this on a graveled part, at least a part that had a base. So it really isn't hurt, affecting the pasture a whole lot. I just kind of tore up dad's little corner here. Sorry, dad. That's probably good. We'll only do a half a load on this one. Sweet! Let's get the drone up in the air. The only issue is I got these power lines here. So uh, if you see a drone get taken down, you know why. Okay, let's try this uh, drone recording. Do you guys like it when I do this or would you rather like have music or whatnot? What do you guys think? Okay, so this is the uh, last time that you will get drone footage while uh, applying line, but I thought this was a really good field because I had a nice flat hilltop, but I also had some side hills. So you guys will be able to see kind of what I was thinking about or what I was seeing in the cab with the more or less uneven down bias towards downhill so you can kind of see it's a little bias towards downhill right now we are uh, on a side slope it took about you know at roughly three plus degrees to get it there but you know like i was mentioning before it kind of just biases it downhill a little bit you can kind of see the heavy stream right behind the right side of the spreader as well as on the downhill side i think it was still covering everything it's just a little bit biased downhill as i was saying before so again, like I said, not too worried. You can kind of see for this view right now, it is putting material across the full 60 feet. It's just a heavy stream in this view towards the top, as well as right behind the spreader a little bit on the uphill side. So, but regardless, I think I was still putting on enough uh, material when I'm putting on lime that it really, I don't think it matters a whole lot. Like, yes, it's probably not perfect, but it, it, it's tough to be perfect with a drop spreader. So it's just, I think it is what it, it's going to be what it is, but that was probably the uh, the downhill, the depth, the downfall effect for uh for this type of spreader and i'm, I'm kind of curious what software is going to come back with the design but also on the on the on the plus side of things i mean this thing was extremely stable in the hills like i was beyond impressed in the hills i went on some pretty nasty side hills and it was it was impressive so like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this drone footage did you guys catch when i almost uh when i almost struck a wire with the drone did, did you guys catch that if you guys didn't uh, if you guys did drop a comment down below where but also also comment do you guys like the style of drone footage or do you want me to go back to music and cue me being cute well that was fun and i didn't hit a power line i got close Let's see if you guys can catch it when i actually uh when i got close if you guys can drop a comment down below so we are done with everything up on the bellevue farm now i just got a one acre kind of rented piece that we got and then a, my five acre piece that i'll get get on the way home but for the most part we spread a lot of lime up here over 400 ton can't think while drive that's a pretty good clip especially for novice guys just tells you how good this sulfur is how easy it is like i said i had maybe 30 minutes of training so this design's proven it's simple easy to use like i said i just wish there was some sort of hill compensation because we definitely need that we have quite a bit of hills in my area but you know what oh that'll be a chat for the sulfur guys so really appreciate it and again guys this demo is here because of you because of you guys how well you support the channel so i really really do appreciate it okay now i gotta drive on the road appreciate each and every one of you but Schrader for sheriff you're in jackson county you know who to vote for i will say this i drive a lot of red obviously and i drive quite a bit of green as well one thing that red does have on the green transmission snappiness i can fly through the gears 
in a red transmission, where especially the four wheel drives out right now, it's click, 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 shift, shift, shift. Where a case Tiger, it's more like they double shift for the first uh, eight gears or the lower 12 gears, so you can go shift, shift, shift. So it's a quicker shift as well as they're skipping a gear. So it's, I don't know, red guys, you know how to make a nice transmission. Okay, last load to fill up in Bellevue. Let's get her done. Filling. Okay, let's pack up the drone. We were just about done. Last bucket of Bellevue going in. Just making sure there's no rocks or anything in there. And there we are. All done. Because the hitch is actually over here. Hey, roll. Nice job, Budley man. Okay, let's hit the road, Jack. Don't forget, butt trader for sheriff. Now we are uh, heading back towards home. Spreading. Man, this thing is a fantastic level A and spreader. There's no doubt in my mind. This one made it back, but this is something I wish I was doing right now. Golfing. Sometime soon, when everything slow down. Definitely gonna go golfing next week, especially if we get some rain. Beautiful day for it though. Highest 70 degrees. That's why I'm in short sleeves. And Hydra's Depot is moving. Little over 30 hours since I left. I am back. 400 tons ran through it. Not too bad. Oh, it's fun. That was very fun. And I'm actually, I did what I was doing some quick math, guys. I'm really happy with the financials of this thing as well. We'll go through that in a separate video towards the end of the, uh, towards the end of the demo. Okay, a patch should be just pulling in behind me here shortly. So let's go uh, see what's going on. The Bud Man made her back. So we'll go get this thing set up. We got four loads of lime coming in. Go hop in this unit because we're going to be doing a little bit of lime down here. Doing about four loads. So we're just going to dump the lime right in here like we did last time and load it up on my spreader there. Just noticing some speckles on the water. I was like, what the heck? I have a hat on, so I couldn't really tell if it was raining. So I looked up and sure enough, it's raining. I mean, it's just spitting. So there goes Nathan. He's heading down to my field to go finish working it for primary tillage with the VT. I gave him a camera, so hopefully he uh, remembers to get some footage for you guys. And for the editor of this, AKA myself, make sure to look on Nathan's GoPro. All right, let's, let's go ahead and get set up. Just got the, uh, conveyor set back up over here so now we'll pull the fertilizer spreader underneath there getting it filled up Darren you better be giving me some footage of them heaping loads all you have are big loads there buddy just scraping up yards before it rains like scrape up the yards before it rains because uh, obviously when it rains water likes to take stuff with it so if we scrape up yards less poo that can go with it well how is she going today boys we're supposed to be getting rain tonight at two o'clock in the morning so we're out here spreading some manure you can tell it's dry but uh we need some rain we didn't get much uh, snow but hopefully the rain will help us head all the way over there to haul there's the boss hi amber and I smell poop because Darren's right there. Nature's free fertilizer right there. Cow poop getting spread all over the fields. Looks like she's getting dusty out. Ground's fit. That's why we're out. There goes another load with the big D. And I'm getting full. Getting filled up, I should say. So 
like we're empty. Got about three more loads to go, and here comes Ronald's in the distance. Coming with the 340 and the sulfur. The man, the myth, the legend. Oh, yeah. I'm glad he was so far away. None of you guys needed to see that crap. Steep us on the farm right here. She is thick. Beautiful view, though. Spreading some lime. Definitely got the downshift for this one. Spreader. Spreader. Except that one's yellow. And we're down here at the Preston farm, as you can see. Deja vu, we're doing the same thing over again down here. Ron's dumping in. There we go. Dumps in the spreader. And we got some pretty steep side hills. Probably about an 8 to 10 degree one right here. And this thing just feels stable. It's wide set, eight, eight in, 800 metric duels. Definitely help. I haven't felt really unstable in the hills yet. Now the tractor can't pull them all, yes, but it's been doing pretty good so far. Another thing I just realized is this thing like, yes, when it's spreading, it's pulling 75 horse. I can tell it in the hills, but when we're not spreading, it doesn't really pull the power at all. So I can run and get up hills when I'm not spreading, which is really nice. It's kind of a nice thing about this hydraulic spreader. Got the yard all scraped, a boy Dern. Load a bit, probably close to a half load, but we'll get her done. All right, now the fun part. So, this thing is actually a pretty nifty design for being older than me. So, all it is is basically it's two, it's a hydraulic circuit that goes to a valve block. You just got two handles, one runs a belt, you got a seat, the other one runs these two cylinders. And all it does to fold up is extends these cylinders, which folds this chute underneath. And when it's all the way folded up, like you guys will see here in a second. It's really well balanced. There's only probably 100 to 200 pounds on there, if that. So you can actually less than that. So you can move it around, no problem. So we'll let the bud man hold it, man. And there it is. You know what I mean? She's pretty well balanced. You can pick up on that tongue like it's nothing. Pretty impressive. I know he's not that strong. You shut your mouth. <laughs> now we're just safe chaining it up. Put a little pressure on it. And these things aren't going anywhere. Super simple. I love it. Used to have a gas motor on it, but they kind of converted it just to, like I said, just hydraulic hoses straight off the tractor. And there he is. That's his last load of the night, and this is my last load of the night. Haven't done much filming since we got this thing. Uh... I guess I've only had it out a handful of times, but running a 30 foot Goon Krause accelerator, 8,000. Uh, it's doing pretty good. Pretty happy with it so far. Uh, this is some hilly, rocky ground. So we didn't want to hit it with the chisel. We're gonna hit this, hit it with this instead, and we might hit it again before we plant into it. Uh, this is Ronald's farm and I did that piece over there behind the trees and that piece on that side hill there um, She's a hunk of iron that's for sure. I got the 400 stagger on it right now and Pretty much giving all it, all it's got as you can tell you can tell when I kind of go uphill and stuff Over on that field. It's a little lighter doesn't work as much ground, but uh, It's still doing something at least so pretty happy with it so far 
Might be the last lime spreading that I do. Got two more passes that haven't been done, but I don't think I'll have enough product for that. Not too bad though. Like I said, in the hilltops, I can cruise, probably even go 15. Hawks going hunting. I'm trying to clean out the lime in my lime in my spreader because I'm all done. Just got cleaned up the spreader. Let it run for a little while. Yeah, rate is off target because I shut you off. We might be done spreading lime for the year. A lot lasts a whole two days. But you know what? We spread over 450 tons in those two days, so not too bad. 470 to be exact. I lied, that wasn't Darren's last load. Okay. All done, I think I'm gonna give this thing a quick wash. Mainly the back half because I need to uh, change about the parts in through here. I'd say she's cleaned out pretty good. It'd be good enough, I suppose. I believe we are done with lime. Made it to another field down at the long farm now. Pretty rough up in here, but we're doing it. Going about eight mile an hour now. Come to that hill, we're gonna have to slow down a little bit, or we are gonna slow down. This is gonna be being on corn ground. Uh, I lightened the, or brought the accelerator out of the ground a little bit. Kind of just working up a little bit of dirt and uh, kind of chopping stalks pretty much. I think I'm doing a good job. All you experts out there, let me know how I do, I guess. Keep hammering away. Sounds like rain. Rain coming tonight, overnight. Continuing into tomorrow. So, we're gonna get as much done as we can, but we've been dry since February, pretty much. So we're needing the rain. Hope we get it. New equipment, gotta keep it looking kinda new. So we got about 10 spreading hours on it, or 10 hours on it. So, so we're actually gonna be done with line, gonna be switching over. And as you guys saw in the previous videos, do that, there's a couple things we gotta do back here, so I'm cleaning it up. Make it easier for us. Okay, all wet, but it's clean enough. Yes, I know the back's not perfect, but it'll work. So now I'm gonna go drive around and try to run the belt a little bit. And really clean stuff off. Time to clean up and shut her down. I gotta head to a tax appointment, guys. Let's roll. Let's put this thing away. Darren is off taking the last load of poo out back. So they've cleaned out two yards today. Nathan's out VTing. Curtis has actually been out on the out on vacation this week. He's out snowmobiling out west. So that's where he's been. Otherwise, it'd be nice for him to be around because he'd be in the field doing something. But oh well. And obviously, and I, I do apologize, guys. I have been my knee has been doing better. Torn meniscus and torn cartilage is what it ended up being. And then I uh I've been going through physical therapy to get it right. Got finished up. Heading her back home. Put her away in the shed, prepare for the rain. Can't beat an open highway this time of the night during the week. And we made her. Shit, lights shut off. Time for bed. Well, I just got done with the tax appointment always fun to do this time of year that's for sure so i am gonna head home and call her a day and probably call it a week because uh, we're supposed to get an inch to inch and a half of rain tonight which let her come and then it's supposed to cool down to get actually colder than average we've been well above average lately so you know what farming might be on a pause for a little while but we got quite a bit done nathan's still out chewing, chewing ground with a vertical till you know I'm, I'm pretty happy with where we're at got all the lime done so we'll see how it goes. But anyway, I really appreciate you guys so much watching. Again, thank you guys a ton. It's because of you guys that the, that, that sulfur spreader was here for me to show off for you guys. And I'll definitely do a review video for it. I think I might have been a little too critical at some points of these last couple days, partially because I'm just exhausted. But I will do a full-blown review um, 
before we uh, switch it over to a fertilizer. So appreciate you so much for watching. Take care, take it easy, stay safe, and ta-ta for now.